one of the ultimate grand tourers, the BMW 6 Series stands ready to eat up miles, buyers' budgets, and premium unleaded with 2018 BMW 6 Series is the German automaker's luxury cruiser. It's more at home wheeling away miles on an open stretch of freeway than on a racetrack and it's available as either a seductive two-door convertible with a power folding fabric roof, a shapely four-door called the Grand Coupe, and a wagon-esque Grand Turismo that's a bit of an outlier in the range, but more on this soon. In our testing, it rates a 6.8 out of a possible 10 overall, reflecting its beautiful style and solid performance, but also its predictably sky-high price tag for 2018. The 6 lineup is largely carried over, except for the deletion of the slow-selling two-door coupe other variants remain available with both 6 and 8-cylinder power and a choice of rear or all-wheel drive but the Grand Coupe and the 6 Series convertible march into 2018 with the same wide range of available powertrains and few other changes. Review continues although a new 2018 BMW 6 Series Grand Turismo is actually closer to the 5 Series than it is the Grand Coupe or Convertible, yeah, we know. The new 2018 640i GT gets the same Turbo 6 from the 540i and a stretched interior for more space it's the closest we may get to a wagon here stateside, but we haven't yet driven it stay tuned styling and performance the 6 Series received a minor facelift just 2 years ago and it largely stands pat for 2018 back in 2016, it gained a sharper nose as well as revitalized air intakes and a cleaner tail end that continues to work well. The Grand Coupe adds a little length thanks to a 4.5-inch longer wheelbase that helps accommodate its second pair of doors. The Grand Coupe isn't quite a luxury sub-dent thanks to its arching roofline that instead its sporty moves, but it does have decent second row room. The 640i comes as standard with a 3.0-liter inline 6 with a turbocharger rated at 315 horsepower and 330 pound-feet of torque. It may be the gateway into the brand, but it scoots to 60 miles per hour in a hair over 5 seconds. That's hardly base. Opt for the 650i and you'll spend more, but you will also get a twin turbo V8 with 445 horsepower and 480 pounds FT of torque that slices a second from its 0 to 60 sprint. Its power runs deep, with rust available from even a gentle tap at the throttle. All models are fitted with an 8-speed automatic gearbox and rear-wheel drive, but all-wheel drive, branded as X-Drive, is on the options list for those who simply must have everything or want to head to the ski slope stairs. Also an M6 version of each on offer, which we cover separately. Those models feature far more power, 560 horsepower, and a more button-down suspension quality, safety, and features drop-top variants of the BMW 6 suited best for two adults with plenty of stretch-out space for long rides. There's more rear seat space here than in a Porsche 911, but Road 2 is best for short jaunts with the kids, or, more realistically, a briefcase or purse. The Grand Coupe's longer wheelbase delivers more leg room but remains compromised in favor of styling over headroom review continues below.